What is going on YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a great day as of today. As you guys can see from today's topic of the video, guys, this is gonna be an important one, guys. This is definitely gonna be an important one, and I actually do have some notes that I actually have written down for you guys, so stay tuned for the video. As you guys can see, today's topic of the video is gonna be always have a rotation of women. Many of you guys probably aren't even talking to like literally like two girls or more than two girls or so. Me, myself, I'm talking to possibly like literally three or four girls right now. And of course, they're definitely an actual rotation that I could actually hit up be like, hey, what's going down tonight? Let's do this or let's do that, guys. Easy as that here for you. And I'm going to give you the four main topics as to why you always want to have a rotation of women in your actual women in your rotation itself here for you. So topic number one or actual uh, thing number one is gonna be is, is that you won't get too attached to one specific woman. You will not get attached to that one particular girl itself here for you. There has been so many times guys where I have literally have only spoke to one particular girl. I was catching feelings for her. I was like, you know what? I actually did have other girls on the side and guess what I did? I dropped all them other girls. I dropped all them other, I guess you could say women, just so I could actually hang out with that one particular girl. And guess what? Yeah, she actually did like that. You know, she actually, even though I didn't tell her that, but she actually did like the fact that I was spending more time with her. But as the days went by, guess what actually happened, guys? Guess what happened? She started becoming more distant. She started texting less. She started literally either not even responding as much or so. She was like, hey, there would be one day where I'll be like, hey, hey, let's hang out, let's do this or let's do that. She was like, oh no, I'm actually kind of busy right now at the moment, you know, hey, we, we could hang out another time. And the next day comes by, guess what? I said, hey, we should hang, hang out. The same exact next day, I'm like, the next day I tell him to hang out, like, hey, we should actually hang out, do this, do that or so. And guess what she actually tells me? Oh no, I'm too busy right now. Sorry about that. But hey, uh, we should actually hang out probably soon, guys. That's when you know you have got yourself too attached to that particular woman. And honestly, guys, she immediately got turned off by that. Just for the simple fact is that she actually knows you actually do not have no particular options. You don't have nothing for yourself going on in your life. That's the main reason as to why these women literally would actually leave you in a heartbeat just like that. It's just for the simple fact is that you actually won't get, you won't get too attached to these women. And then they, these women are gonna actually leave once they actually see that you don't have no particular options that's out there for you. Women love an actual chase. Women want to chase you. A lot of you guys are chasing these women, but don't chase these women. If she doesn't respond back, then A, it's okay. It's okay. Guess what, move on to the next one. Easy as that for you guys. And then of course, number two, one of the actual good points as, as far as that I actually did write down here is that you could actually see what's your preference in regards to these women. You could actually see as far as what's your type of women that you are into. I know of course every guy is different. All of us are currently different guys. We like these type of women, we like this type of women or so. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something right here. There was a particular girl that I was vibing with. I felt like the vibe was, was good. You know, we ended up hooking up that night or so guys. And then guess what, later on down the road, doesn't even hit me up anymore. Doesn't even hit me up anymore. I felt the vibe was literally so right. And then of course, A, she might have like honestly was on it well yeah she was a little bit kind of tipsy with them drinks but honestly she might have literally just wanted to get some at that particular night show like you know what i'm gonna hang out with this guy let's just let, let's just get it on and easy as that she probably might have not find me found me attractive enough in order for me to date her or so it could have possibly been a various a couple of reasons for the actual reason that she actually did no longer actually text me or talk to me anymore afterwards but it's okay guys it's okay just for the simple fact guys that of course you actually have to have yourself a rotation of women because i tell you this guys is that you guys could be able to scope out the chicks that you are into the women that you are into and you could actually scope out and check out the women that you are not into those women that you are not into guys or those women that are not submissive enough for you you got to throw them out to the side and find yourself another group of girls that actually are going to be in your rotation that would be submissive to you that you actually do get along with and that you actually do like itself here. There's been several girls that I have found that are honestly like eights, nines, or tens, guys. And honestly, the conversations that I would have with them, 
it wouldn't even be there. It seriously wouldn't even be there. At the end of the night, yes, I did still end up hooking up with them, but it was pointless. They just had the looks and that was about it. Most of these actual chicks don't even have personalities like that. So that's the reason why I would say, honestly, there's really no point. There's definitely really no point we would actually have those type of actual chicks or women in your rotation as far as you know a they may be you know they may be as far as attractive or so but then again of course whenever you guys actually want to vibe or so whenever come whenever of course if, of course if you guys actually want to have a girlfriend then hey you actually have to have your actual options that one chick that you actually do see the one the chick that you actually feel like you're gonna fall in love with guys more than likely guys, she's not your soulmate. More than likely, she, there is better girls that are out there for you or so that you're gonna be able to vibe with her. So that's the reason why I would say is that you always gotta have your rotation of women. These women are seriously going to actually see that you have a rotation. Of course, that you have more than one woman that you're talking to. They're gonna get immediately turned on by that just because they do see that you're a guy with value itself here for you. And that's the reason why I'm gonna say, of course, now number three, is that if she flakes on you or if she starts acting up guys you could instantly drop her just like that instantly drop her just like that guys you don't have to worry about her if she's not wanting to have sex with you or if she's not wanting to give you head or if she's not wanting to be submissive or so or if she's not wanting to literally respect you and respect your actual time or so or literally let's just say if you guys want to hang out and she says oh no i'm actually kind of too busy right now and then couple of hours later you see her on snapchat you see her on instagram hanging out with like literally another guy or a couple of friends or so guys that's when you actually got to know that she is not respecting you she does not respect you you immediately either got to drop her or more than like you probably got to tell her like hey you got to tell her like hey i'm gonna punish you not literally you're gonna tell her you're gonna punish her but i'm gonna be like yo you don't want to hang out with me so next time you got to come over you got to bring me this you got to bring me that guys you gotta do that in order for the woman to respect you because if you do not, more than likely she's gonna be doing the same exact thing over and over and over again, guys, and it's gonna be easy as that here for you. And then of course, once you actually are able to leave that particular chick that actually is not doing any, not doing you any good while you actually have women in your rotation, then you could actually find some more women in your rotation. You could actually move on to the next particular chick that you have in your rotation and then find some more guys, find some more. That's the reason why I do say guys, it is always best for you to find women outside, go outside of your comfort zone, go to bars, go to clubs or whatever. Even though I know some places with COVID and everything like that at all, that some places are currently closed or they actually do have a curfew here in Texas. We definitely don't do not have a curfew. It's right around two or three. So it's right around the same exact time. But of course you do have to wear a mask. Once you have drinks, guys, you could actually take off that mask. So that's definitely no excuse at all. But honestly, guys, you could actually find women everywhere. Gym, grocery store, everywhere, guys. Everywhere. There, I've, I've gotten so many choosing signals from women at the gym. I've gotten so many choosing signals from like literally at girls at my apartment complex and then also at the actual uh, grocery store or so, guys. It's just easy. You just got to talk to them. You just got to have that confidence. Of course, you got to take care of yourself. The more you actually take care of yourself, the more confident you guys are going to be. So that's the reason why I would say is that whenever you guys do see those choosing signals, go up to them, talk to them, be confident enough to tell them like, yo, hey, uh, I find you pretty attractive or I find you checking me out. What's going on? You know, you okay? <laughs> you, you, you haven't seen an attractive guy as me or so? Play with them. Tease them a bit, guys. Once you tease them, and then once they literally just start laughing, guys, you're going to have them in, your, in the palm of your hands. Easy as that. Easy as that, guys. And that's the reason why I would say is that, of course, if they flake on you multiple times, guys, kick, kick them to the curb. Let them leave. Don't worry about those women. Do not worry about those women. It's okay. There is plenty of more women out there for you to literally get and for you to actually have in your rotation. They're going to be submissive towards you itself here because those are the best type of women. That women will that would actually respond to you, respect you for your actual time itself here for you that and easy as that here for you. And then of course number four is gonna be women will see you as an actual high value person. Just for the simple fact is that they're not gonna see you like that other particular guy. There may be an actual good looking guy that you may that you may actually see in the streets or so they may see like an actual bar club or so. But of course, if this particular guy does not have options and if he does not have women that are wanting to hang out with him these women are not going to want to hang out with him easy as that two weeks ago three weeks ago i went out to a bar 
it's a bar slash club or whatever because people were dancing afterwards after I believe 10 o'clock p.m. or so when they turned the restaurant slash bar over to like a nightclub or so. Guys, when I was with the actual chick that I was with during that time, I was getting choosing signals left and right, left and right. If I was with my with my homeboy or with an actual friend or so, I probably would, would have still gotten some choosing signals. But once they do see a guy with a good looking woman, then be like, yo, this guy right here, he has something that this guy that's literally standing by himself that doesn't have. He either has that charisma or he either has that confidence or he either has that good looks or so or he's smooth as fuck. Women, they do get turned on by that. And one of the examples that I'm going to give you guys that is funny, I posted an actual video on Snapchat of this one particular girl literally messaging me talking about how, how she actually wants me. She actually wants her or we wants me to actually stalk her. So she wants me to stalk her and all like like excuse me like she was like oh she was like oh i want you to stalk me i feel like that would be kind of hot you know you're pretty good looking or so you know you actually uh turned me on or so i'm like I'm like okay and like that, that was kind of weird and then i actually posted that I'm like you know just for the just for the fun of it and then guess what guys that one same chick that i literally met at the bar a couple a couple weeks ago or so the one that has the lady of course instagram model whatever you want to call it she says oh okay okay so i see i have competition now i see i have competition now they love that guys. They love the actual race itself here. They love when they see you're with other girls, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, so this guy could actually literally get girls. If I don't hang out with him or if I'm not responding to him, yo, he's literally gonna hang out with somebody else just like that. You know what, let me, let me, let me just respond to him real quick and let me just talk to him, see how he's been or whatever. Right when they actually see that guys, they're gonna be like, oh wow. Like this guy, he definitely knows what he's doing. They're gonna see you above these other guys that are right below you or so and that, that way of course it's going to be way more simpler for you to tell if you're free for you to actually get more dates or literally more instant laser whatever you want to call it or so guys whatever you guys actually want to do with these women then that's all on you but of course these things are actually going to better your actual life itself here for you and that's the reason why i would say of course all these actual stuff itself here for you they're going to be curious once they do see you like that guys once they do see you with a woman they're going to be like oh wow so he actually got a new girlfriend or, or is that just his friend or so they're going to get curious and they're going to be like you know what i want to be a part of that i want to be a part of that Easy as that guys here for you. So those were the four things that of course, the reason why I would say is that you always gotta have a rotation of women guys. It's easy as that. Once you guys are able to implement this in your life as of today, you guys are gonna be able to get more women guys. You guys are gonna be able to get more women and it's gonna be a whole lot more easier for you guys here. So hopefully you guys actually like guys of today's video. If you guys did so, please hit the like down below. And of course, if you guys have any questions, any comments in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.